Hey guys, so I told some of you who were ever in the live last night or who watched the replay that I ordered a new laptop. Now I've been using an Asus laptop, Republic of Gamers, since, oh, I believe 2013, 2012, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe 2012. And just because of the amount of photo processing, video processing, blogging, you know, all kinds of different editors I use, I have like 20,000 tabs open at a time and I have to have something that's very responsive. And prior to moving to an Asus Republic of Gamers, I was on the highest end of almost every other computer and literally I burned them out within, they didn't, I don't even think they lasted a year. I used to get the black type protection and then it would have to go in and totally they have to send me another unit and I got tired of it and that's when someone there recommended that I go with the Republic of Gamers. They always look at me quite funny when I go in there like, oh you're a gamer? What? You? No, but there are a lot of people that do the types of tasks that I use my computer for that use a gaming computer. There's several other kinds. There's MSI. That's another I've, one that I've never used. I did consider MSI, but like I said, I've had very good luck, knock on wood, with the Asus. I'm always able to give them to Jimmy, who when I, I wasn't even, my laptop now is only about a year, I don't even think it's a year and a half old and his Asus that I gave him I think it was my one from 2015 or so was having some issues or might have even been 2013 I don't know which one he has but it still um, you know was working and stuff but it then it started to give him some problems so he then gets my laptop which is seems like a you know, a raceway for him, you know, a speedway, I should say. And he's, for what he does and uses his computer for, for his work, it's more than capable. So I then found this one at Best Buy. It was at a good deal. Um, it's still, it's still a pricey, you know, uh, price your computer it's not gonna you know it's not gonna be a three four five six seven hundred dollar unit but for what I need and like I said in the longevity it's it's worth it to me so let's take a look at what is inside now this is let me see here this is a model this is a model GU 501 G okay and let me just turn this around okay Oh, I thought that was a laptop. I was like, wow, that's pretty, pretty thick. Yeah, I was like, that's a box. I don't ever remember them being packed like that. Do you? Not like that, no. And then it came in a box that opened up and it was inside there. Not in an extra box like that. There we go. Wait, you're not showing that on camera. Let's do this first. Okay. So that opens. And okay, and let's see what's under there. Anything? Nothing, it's just something here. Over here. A little stuff. Oh, nice. This is a nice public game thing, I thought. Okay, so we have another little box in there. Let's see, this is... 
and then read its black on back. A little. I guess that's a little. Oh, this is the. No, this is not the free gift. There actually was a free um, virus protection for a few months that comes with this. That was the free gift from Best Foot Business, I guess, is a gift from Aces. ring or something, right? All right, let's get over here. And let's see. Stickers. Other stickers. And You've got you covered. Leave safety precautions. You are covered. Warranty. And in search of the incredible, of incredible. I think that's all. Warranty card and the yeah. So I'm going to put the, nice box. the materials back in here, so I can look at them later. And they definitely look out for you. Okay. And then in the other box... I think pull that in, try. Pull that in too. We have the power supply. And the power cord. Okay. So. No kidding. Huh? It's a blank. That scared me at first. Okay, so there you go. Uh oh. Where's my computer? Those are the speakers, I believe. Sticker here. What's the other my other one has this. VR ready. Oh. I think they are. We don't worry about VR. Okay. I, I like the way the, uh, the on button's up there out of the way now. Like on your first. The last one oh, didn't. The last one had it was like stuck right there in the corner. Okay. And then they have it doesn't have the red S, which it doesn't. That's good too. Oh, and there's a, that's supposed to come over up this game thing. They had it over here on the last one you had, the one I have now. Alright, so let me just, let's put it in. Can we plug it in? I think so. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Do any lights come on? Here, here. Start it up. Boy, I know what we can do. Look in this box right here. So I'd like to push that button there. Alright, so it's starting. Look in this box right here. Right here. Look at that. Listen. Sit back and relax while we work our magic. It's working. Yeah, it was on that whole time. I don't know. Well, I guess so. Okay, don't worry. Hold on. Please. Okay, so let it do it. Okay, so right now, I'm just talking. it's going to go through some, some processes. I wanted to tell you what's on the computer, so hang on. Do I have a booklet in there about what's on the computer? Okay. I can say you do it right here. Speak here. loudly, project okay. your voice. Okay, so she has the ASUS, Republic of Gamers, Strix, GU501G. Uh, it's a black metal. Uh, Still color. setting things up. It's LCD, full high, high definition, 15.6 um, display. Has six gigabyte of uh, video RAM. It has the Intel i7. Thanks for your patience. Has the Intel i7, um, eighth uh, eighth version, whatever the eighth edition, and has a. Uh, um, it's, a, it's an i7-87508. I know it has 
six cores. We're still working. This thing should be quiet. Um, it has six cores in it, and it can do up to 12 jobs at a time or something. Uh, it has a uh, one terabyte solid state, eight gigabyte uh, hybrid drive. For the Please don't turn off your device. It also has a 128 gig PCIe uh, um, solid state drive in the M.2 uh, slot. Uh, we have still setting things up. 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, which is like I think it's like 2660 megahertz. Or no, 2666 megahertz. Uh, it has the Wi-Fi up to the to, up to AC. Um, it has a 5.0 Bluetooth 5.0, uh, USB 3.1, uh, four of those things in it. And then what else we have? Windows, uh, keyboard language, power cord. We're still working. Accessory, four cell, 55 watt. Um, so basically it has a, a solid state hard drive with, with the uh, operating system on it, right on the motherboard. Please so don't turn off your it, device. It doesn't have to go through a spinning uh, hard drive to get to the main stuff. So it'll start up real fast. And she loads she loads her hard drive up so fast. So we're, we're gonna have some um, still setting things up. external storage to unload on once you get to half full. Uh, what else do I know? What else do I know about this thing? It's um, it actually has in the cool the, the cooling system has something that it gets dust out, it centrifugally uh, Thanks for your patience. forces it out, and when it does it, it comes out a little slot on the, on the sides to, uh, it may be in the back, I forgot. I mean, I, um, so it, 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 it eliminates dust for the most part inside it. We're and still working. It looks to me like the keyboard is lighting up all different colors. Maybe you can't see it. Yeah, I can see it. It keeps changing colors. Blue, purple. So uh, her other one that we had was, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, but I need one. My computer. Uh, Please don't turn off your device. I have all the old computers, and a very old one just kind of stopped working for me. So, um, she was so gracious in letting me have her older one. Still setting yeah. things up. And it, the keyboard on that just lights up red. Yeah. So this has the <clears throat> the most important thing here. That has a. Eighth generation i7 six core um, processor, and it has the 1060 GTX uh, video card, which and it has the version that goes in desktop, and it has six gigabyte of uh, uh, video RAM in We're it. We're still working. Um, and it has what else do we have here? That's good. I think the refresh rate on this is 120. Uh, you know, whatever. It's, I mean, the it's 120 and it has like three milliseconds uh, refresh rate on it. Please don't turn off your device. She, she doesn't game, so it's not like she's worried. She just she pushes it really hard using uh, editing video. It has a lot of uh, it has Still HDMI, few USB 3.1s on that side. We have a. Uh, yeah, that's a Thunderbolt, so that could be, I guess, USB-C or a Thunderbolt, which Thanks for your patience. is very, uh, you, you know, it can run some cool hardware. You know, you do video and data and charge and get power out of a Thunderbolt. It looks like a USB-C, though. And we have another uh, USB. We're still working. So the only thing, these things that she's going to complain about with these uh, is that it does not have a card slot. You have to, she, she has a, a little card reader that we can plug in and, and uh, but we have to make sure we get a good one if you don't get a good one it takes Please forever to turn off your device it takes forever to uh to, to get your uh you know your videos and stuff off of um off of a your little mini sd your micro sd cards or whatever so you want to have setting a, things up you don't want to really skimp on that you want to make sure you get the best one you can so so you're not sitting here all day long waiting for your for your uh project to load or unload Please don't right. turn off your device. And this is a nice little keychain here. Your computer will restart before you continue. Yeah. There are, when you read the reviews on this, there are ladies who have this because it's so light and powerful and they do a, 
and they, 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 you know, they, they said, well, we're not gamers. The one, one I was reading last night, she said she's not a gamer. She does, you know, like, but maybe her kids are or something. And, and, and then she that mentioned. Just, did that computer just cry? No, it did like, shoosh, like. No, but then it said it sounded like a cry. No, I don't know. Oh, you mean at the end of it? At the yeah, end? I did. No, almost like, like metal, like squeezing. You know, like put the brakes on. Like it's almost uh, built. So Now let's see what's new from Windows. Yes, so so the good thing you can have a, if you have a... Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no. If you can get a M2... Type your email address or phone number. Then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll there. catch oh. up with you once that's done. That? No, I ha yeah, I have to open my, I have to use my right uh, account. I'm trying Figure to out which one, and we'll do it. So hopefully we'll stop right here. Hopefully it's quiet. Um, no, but the, the thing is, if, if you have a, you know, you get a computer, desktop, or laptop, if you can get it with, with M.2 uh, solid state hard drive in it, and you have MVNE. Um, capability, which will, is, I don't know how, it's a couple times faster um, than using a, a mechanical hard drive for sure. It's a few times faster, maybe five or six times faster, and it's especially good if you're doing video editing because it has to go nowhere. It's almost like being right there, uh, have your, you know, it doesn't have to go anywhere. It's really quick, and uh, I think that's, for somebody like Carolyn, who does a lot of video editing, it'll help a lot. And uh, you guys should look into it and see. I'm just saying that 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 is, uh, you know, the gamers were saying the only one who would, if you put an M and which is, it? let me just look real quick and I'll tell you. NVME solid state hard drive. So this is a Western Digital one. So you can see how incredibly the the data, how fast it can go with if you have the right motherboard. Then and now most of the new ones are had that capability and this does have the capability but these do have a little issue with getting getting hot so you know i mean the, on as far as the gamers they're what they have to say about this the, the, the folks who know a lot about these things they, they were saying it's fine even if it's not an m uh nvme ssd um but it does have that capability and you'd want to keep the, these guys push these to the limits where the fans are blasting out and it works great but Carolyn's not going to do that but what I understand that the only ones who who will benefit the most from something like this are people who do video editing and uh, so um, she's gonna have it without it for right now and we can always pop one in and just take the back off this is simple it's easy as putting in memory so, uh, you know, putting in a, adding more memory to it. Um, her last one also only had 12 gigabyte memory. It had like eight gigabytes soldered in, and then you could put more in. Um, this one, I forgot how exactly how it goes, but I know it has 16 gigabyte of, of a very a DDR4 RAM. The newer ones coming out that I noticed have the Intel i7 ninth generation. This is the eighth generation. And it has six cores. Of course, it's probably going to be a little bit quicker for sure. And they're also going to have, they have, uh, I suppose, so like DDR6 um, RAM on the, the video cards that are um, coming out. I mean, but a lot of them, it, it'll say, uh, I forgot what, what this one will say. It's uh, the GTX 1060. Then there's some numbers after that that indicate it's for a laptop. This one is actually, if it says GTX, uh, the NVIDIA GTX 1060. Um, this one is just straight for the same one they put in a big laptop, a big uh, PC. So, and you know, they have the, you have to keep it cool. That's a lot of the problems with uh, these little guys here. This thing is so little. It, it's actually heavier and sturdier. It, a little bit more than a half a pound heavier, or less than a pound heavier than the one she just uh, gave to me. And, but this thing is, and really, it feels really sturdy. It's nice metal. And this, this is our little, this is Luke, you can't really see him. He's, uh, he's always into technology. He wants to try to 
like uh, say subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel and <laughs> yeah he's a little uh, he's a little social bunny here don't don't touch anything yet because mm -hmm. mom has to put his stuff in but you you trying to figure out which one you want to put in here the one that's uh, yeah. okay I can set up my office 365 hey look that's me Cortana can I have permission to the settings Microsoft recommends Go ahead and review Hello? them and select accept when you're ready. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so use speech recognition, linking and typing. Okay, so I'm just going to leave them there. Accept. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Okay, so this is getting things ready. Okay, so now I do not want I do not want to use sync your browsing. I use Chrome, so share files, okay. Learn more, no we don't need to do that. I am, thank you. Um all right, so now we want to let's see what we want to do is go to Chrome and I'm going to just go to my Chrome download and I'm going to download Chrome download Chrome accept and install what do you want to do with Chrome well I'd like to run it On your marks, on your marks. Okay. So, make Chrome, yes, we want to make Chrome our default browser. So I'm glad they let us just do it just like that. Pin Chrome to your taskbar, yes, you know me well. Okay. Continue. Okay, so there we go. We've got our Chrome now. That will sync up all of my passwords, all of my email, everything. Now, let's just say I'm going to my blog. My Ramblings YouTube. There we go. Find out my blogging. I've got to add more sponsored posts today and stuff. But okay, so we're good on that. And let's go to let's get our YouTube open up here. Okay, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to finish getting everything set up on this, but this is the laptop. Of course, I bought this because of Jimmy's situation, but I also, it, it was important that I had something delivered before the 4th because when I go to the other house, I need to go live when I'm in the house or whatnot. Like I said, I can use my phone and I'm going to do that for the fireworks, but if I'm inside the house, at any point and want to do a live, I like to have a bigger screen, you know, that I can read the chat. Otherwise, I have my face in my phone, and if I'm using my phone as my camera, it's not going to work out well. I am going to use my phone as um, to record the fireworks while I, with the DSLR that's recording now, is taking the pictures for the calendar in the bold mode. So that should be fun because the dock is only one half of it is in. It's, I, I don't know, we'll have to see what's happening. Today is kind of overcast. I don't know what it's gonna do. Tomorrow might rain. We will see what's going on. Okay, but I wanted to show you this. 
And let's see, do I have anything else to show you? I'm trying to think. I don't even know anymore. I know I had something else. But I'll be back on. All right, this is this is the laptop anyway. This in my other one, this logo lit I lit up. I don't know if that's I will show you more and you'll see me um, streaming go live from it so you can see how that works and how the camera is and all that good stuff. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.